Hello everybody. Let's talk about breathing technique during exercise today. The chief respiratory muscles are the external intercostals and diaphragm, which helps normal breathing. Go through the diagram uh, added in the video. In contrast, the secondary respiratory muscles during forced breathing or hyperventilation is pectoralis minor and scalenes and other abdominal muscle. Aids in heavy, deep or as I said, forced breathing. Breathing or ventilation is the actual process of moving air in and out of the body. When you talk about breathing, breathing is a portion into two phases. This is a little bit technical. Uh, later on, we will get into more practical thing. Inspiration and expiration. Inhale and exhale in simplest term. Inspiratory ventilation is active, while expiratory ventilation can be both active and passive. During inhalation, the diaphragm contracts and flattens out. Also, the rib muscle lifts the ribs up and outward. Thus, the lungs get more space to grow larger and fill up with air. The process is reversed during the expiration. The diaphragm relaxes, moves up and pushes the air out of the lungs. The rib muscles also relax and they move in. Now the lungs have a smaller space causing the air to push out. So it is very important you must know about breathing while doing any form of exercises or yoga. Patients are having problems with their lungs find difficulty with exercises. Training helps to strengthen the lungs and muscles, improve endurance and reduce breathlessness by improving the cardiorespiratory muscles. The best generic guidelines about descent breathing during a resistance training exercise is to exhale during the sticking point. The most challenging part of the exercise of the concentric exertion phase and inhale during the more comfortable part of the exercise eccentric phase. This is normal breathing has to be followed by everyone during basic exercises. Typically the sticking point occurs soon after the transition from the eccentric phase to the concentric phase while contracting and relaxing. For example, the sticking point of the barbell band press exercise occurs about the halfway through the upward movement phase. At that point, the lifter should exhale during this position of the movement. As the bar is lowered back down to the chest, the lifter should inhale and while pushing up, you have to exhale. Simple. This breathing strategy applies to nearly all resistance exercises or any form of exercise while using your body weight or extra weight for exercise. However, there are some situations in which breath holding may be suggested. For experienced and well-trained athletes or lifters performing structural exercises that apply immense pressure on the vertebral column or spine, which help uh, sorry, with high resistance or weight, the Valsalva maneuver breathing can help maintain proper vertebral alignment and support by increasing intra abdominal pressure. The Val Valsalva maneuver involves expiring, exhaling against a closed glitoris. Use your primary muscles of breathing and secondary, which, which combined with contracting the abdomen and rib cage muscles creates rigid compartment of fluid in the lower torso and air in the upper torso the fluid ball that is called and increases pressure within the abdomen the advantage of the valsalva maneuver is that is that it increases the rigidity of the entire torso to provide stability to your spinal column to add in supporting the vertebral column which in turn reduces the associated compressive force on the disc during lifting. It also helps to establish and maintain a normal curvature of your spine or lordotic lumbar spine, also called a neutral spine, and erect upper position, chest up, back straight, abs tight, described in most of the exercises or uh, heavy resistance exercises. Be aware, however, that the resulting increases in intra-abdominal pressure has potentially detrimental side effects such as dizziness, disorientation, excessively high blood pressure and blackouts. Most importantly, why the breath holding state is and should be 
transient and keep changing only about 2 to 3 second at most even a well trained lifter should not extend the length of the breath holding phase because blood pressure can quickly rise to triple resting levels while conducting one repetition maximum exercises or test for example the power clean power snatch squat deadlift or bench press need to be aware of the advantages and disadvantages of coaching especially lifters or pro athletes in the valsalva maneuver technique though it is imperative to stabilize the vertebral column internally during the movements for safety and technique reasons it is recommended that an athlete or client who is experienced can be called as pro or advanced level client not lengthen the breathing holding period more than 2 to 3 seconds so for that reason if you want to practice valsalva maneuver breathing technique you need to have proper experience of proper breathing mechanism and the primary muscle and the secondary muscle of breathing how to use the uh, primary muscle of of your primary muscle of breathing then how to utilize or how to engage the intra abdominal pressure while performing any form of exercise this is very important so if you are a beginner or advanced beginner then always try to avoid such type of advanced breathing technique first learn the technique understand properly and communicate with your trainer and consult with your trainer or professional fitness professional or strength and conditioning coach about the breathing various type of breathing technique then proceed further thank you so much and if you find it helpful do suggest some more queries to me i will be happy more than happy to update uh, about the technique scientific modalities and the easy to understand mechanics and methods of exercises breathing technique nutrition and lot more thank you so much and take care and stay safe and stay at home